That's right. It's time for another two-minute book talk. Hello, reader friends. It's your handy dandy librarian, Miss Bayardo. And today I want to talk to you about the book Dread Nation by Justina Ireland. This is a two book series, the second book being Deathless Divide. Um, it is a fantasy fiction mixed with some history, so um, fantasy and historical fiction book for you. And what a fun way to rewrite history. Uh, in this story, you're going to meet Jane McKean, and she was born just two days before the dead began to walk the battlefields of Gettysburg and Chancellorsville. Um, and all of this derailed the war between the states and changed America forever. Uh, in this new nation, safety for all depends on the work of a few. Hmm, sounds familiar. And of course, some new laws like the Native and Negro Reduction Act. Hmm, that sounds suspicious. Uh, and this new law requires certain children to attend combat schools to learn to put down the dead. But there are also some opportunities and Jane is studying to become an attendant trained in both weaponry and etiquette to protect the well-to-do. It's a chance for a better life for Negro girls like Jane. After all, not even being the daughter of a wealthy white Southern woman could save her from society's expectations. But that's not the life that Jane wants. She's almost finished with her education at Miss Preston School of Combat in Baltimore. Uh, and Jane is set on returning to her K Kentucky home. And she doesn't really pay attention much to the politics of the Eastern cities with their talk of returning America to the glory of its days before the dead rose. But when families around Baltimore County begin to go missing, Jane is kind of caught up in the middle of a conspiracy. One that finds her in a desperate fight for life against some very powerful enemies. And you know those restless dead roaming around? It seems they are the least of her problems. But of course. This sounds like a very interesting read and a twist on history um, and my favorite. I love history and I love uh, to read about new ways that history could have turned out or um, imaginative ways that history um, can be. So this sounds like a really good one. The Civil War and Zombies. There you go. <laughs> Of course, you can find this book in our library collection when we get back, but you can also find it in our Northside Sora Overdrive collection as well as the San Antonio Public Library ebook and audiobook collection in both versions. So make sure you check it out when we get back to the library or log on, download, and start reading. That is our two minute book talk time for today. Tune in next time for another great reading recommendation. Bye.